Hey guys, Celestial Guidance here. Three threes, no E's, okay? If you want to follow my Instagram, it's in the description box down below. Cash App, Amazon Wishlist, all down below. And we're going to check on this, um, this energy today, okay? With the whole the twin flame soulmate journey, okay? Because... I just took these out of the box and kid you not like the death card was on the bottom and I was just about to shuffle this so we could start and two of cups came out so let's shuffle this up and let's see what this soulmate twin flame journey is looking like okay spirit tell us what we need to know and now what we want to hear because we don't want those um, BS conversations, you know? We don't want BS conversations. We want true meaningful ones. Okay, spirit. Tell us what we need to know, spirit. Tell us what we need to know so we can grow in a positive direction, spirit. Okay, thank you for these messages we're about to receive. I feel like I need to shuffle this like two more times, two more times. Spirit, let's get a message on the Two of Cups and the Death card, okay? And then I'll explain to you guys in a second what the message is for that. Okay, so the Moon card fell on my arm in reverse, okay? So, the Death card, right? We're getting new growth so all of those old karmic behaviors and throughout your life those are going out the window okay this is going to be a beginning of something new and with the two of cups you are going to begin a union here okay there's going to be reconciliation here there's going to be conversation there's going to be heart-to-heart -heart communications okay you guys might think of Trying to fix the camera light but that's fine but um there's going to be union here and with the moon card in reverse somebody doesn't want to hold back anymore somebody is wanting to come forward with some conversation some news okay on the moon card spirit okay so someone desires you someone thinks very highly of you and someone is ready to come after you okay so if this is your soulmate this is someone that you're going to run into in maybe a couple of weeks okay if this is your twin flame okay this is the month okay this is the month of union okay the year 2022 two 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 that's six okay we're in june all right so look at this seven cups so we're entering july here okay we're entering cancer season okay we're entering cancer season soon it's almost the end of june okay so happy early birthday cancers okay so this is definitely giving water sign energy because we had the two of cups in the beginning and now we have the seven of cups here, okay? So somebody is coming forward after having some reflection, okay? They've had some reflection on their ways and they're realizing that they want to give you just like everything they've never given other people because they also feel like they can... Um, 
be themselves around you like this person might be um shy or your divine masculine might be shy look the lover's card just popped out so this person i, f I feel like this could be a twin flame this could be a twin flame so on the card six at the top lover's card okay it's divine timing now is the time now is the time for union okay now is the time for reunion okay you both have done the work okay healing doesn't have to be 100 percent to get back into union with one another okay so this person has done the work okay your divine masculine has done the work and they're ready to start a reunion okay this person is ready to come forward okay now energy is energy okay it's timeless it is fluid okay so this could be the past this could be happening to you right now this could be happening to you in the future okay and you know if your person your divine masculine is more feminine then you're more masculine like you two mirror each other so whatever you're doing they're probably doing okay if you're worrying and stressing they're probably worrying and stressing or if they're you know crying or something you're probably crying you two just are connected you feel each other okay page of wands okay so we do have some fire energy okay somebody could be an aries leo um sagittarius okay um this person wants to come forth with an offer for you this person is yep the hermit in reverse this person doesn't want to um stay in silence okay they know that you're a catch they don't want to stay in silence and then other people come to you this person's very jealous about you this person four of wands this person wants to like get rid of all those distractions and they want to come into union with you they want to build a foundation with you this person is looking for a family ace of swords that's the truth this person is coming in with communication quick okay this might catch you by surprise this might make you really happy when you see it okay this person wants to come forth with some communication okay their throat chakra has been opening their heart chakra has been opening they've been becoming more grounded okay they've they've their heart chakra not their heart chakra their uh sacral chakra was very um unbalanced okay very emotional um this person could be like very moody hot and cold you know in and out okay and this person wants to talk try to find a compromise maybe ten of pentacles but whatever it is it's gonna work out between you two your divine masculine wants union and i think that you want union too divine feminine so the card that tried to pop out was the fool this person is ready to not be negligent with what was sent to them okay by the universe this person is ready to take this relationship seriously okay they're ready to be vulnerable they're ready to be emotional okay we have the king of pentacles and the king of cups so this person is ready to show you that they have matured they have changed okay when you see this person this person might look different this person might have changed their hair this person might have like you know um started working out or maybe they lost weight or you know maybe um you know this person's gonna be way more open and communicative um this person might be more flirty this person might be showing you their sensitive side more this person was really guarded to start off with now you know switch the roles you know nine of um cups remember to switch the roles okay like um don't try to make this fit your story okay make sure that you know it just resonates with what's happening with you you don't want to try to make it fit your story okay like it's okay like if some parts resonate but the whole thing doesn't have to resonate okay but um 
once again, uh, a bunch of water energy. A lot of water energy, okay? Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this person is ready to bear it all, okay? This person is ready for equal give and take right now. Six of Pentacles, okay? So you could be dealing with... Um, or you could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn, um, Virgo, or you have it in your chart, okay? This person wants to show you, like, their charming side, okay? This person has realized that you're the love of their life, okay? I think you both have realized that you don't want to play the cat and mouse game anymore. You just want to love each other. You guys are tired of hiding it. Like, what's the point of hiding it and then being sad that you can't be together when you two, when both of you want to be together, but no one's putting in the work or one of you are putting in the work to do it while the other one is just getting the reward of it Ooh. eight of wands communication communication is coming about a decision here okay so we have the knight of wands okay so air, we're getting air energy, fire energy here, lots of fire energy. So somebody definitely has fire in their chart, okay? Lots of Leo, Aries energy, Sagittarius energy, okay? Um, we have air energy here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, okay? This person wants to come out about their communication, okay? I think this person feels confident now about telling you how they truly feel about you. This person is ready to tell you that they want to be a part of your life like look at all these like look at all these blue colors like the throat chakra is opening here okay the throat chakra is opening and this person i don't think this person expected to fall in love like i don't think your divine masculine really thought like okay like when i say like this person okay like usually i'm referring to divine masculine but you know it, it it just happens okay just so nobody is confused okay or if i say your person then your soulmate okay whoever you're dealing with so the cards that came out was ten of wands now when i say whoever you're dealing with it has to be like either a soulmate or a twin flame because soulmates and twin flames are still different but Twin flames and soulmates are completely different from like regular relationships, okay? Those karmic partnerships, okay? Anyway, so we have the Ten of Wands, Strength, King of Wands, okay? So this person has been putting in the work to become more mature, more stable. Like this person wants to come to you and make you an offer, okay? This person wants to be flirtatious with you. This person wants to be open with you. This person wants to be emotional this person wants to show you their heart this person wants to show you who they really are okay they're dealing with insecurities and you know you you somehow tamed this person okay yeah that's the truth high priestess queen of wands okay so this person thinks very high very highly of you this person thinks very highly of you okay celestial game celestial game maybe celestial game let me know in the comments which one you guys like better like constellation gang or celestial gang let me know in the comments but anyway um queen of uh queen of wands the high priestess here okay so um pisces energy okay we're getting more fire energy okay so this person is very passionate about you okay this person wants to be intimate this person wants to be close this person is very clingy okay this person wants to be near you immediately okay and they're hoping that you will, that you will say yes okay this person is your divine masculine is hoping that you will say yes okay what actions is the divine masculine going to take towards divine feminine spirit what actions is divine masculine going to take towards divine feminine spirit This person wants you so bad. 
You're literally this person's first love. You're this person's first love. The Empress card. Oh my god, this is too cute. You're literally this person's like first true love, okay? This person, your divine masculine, like they realized they had some maturing to do, okay? But you're the one, they knew you were the one from the jump, okay? When they first laid eyes on you, they knew you were the one from the jump, okay? So this person, uh, this Divine Masculine, your person, switch the roles, okay? Just bear with me. So, um, yeah, this person wants to show you all of them. This person doesn't want to hide anymore. This person wants to show you all of them okay they realize there's no need to hide from you okay they realize if they really want true love they have to put in the work to make it work okay this person is realizing your divine masculine is realizing and they want you to know that they are in love with you like this person has been dealing with some financial issues but they're coming back they're coming back here okay so let's see what divine masculine has to say to divine feminine we're gonna get some cards here from the hidden truth oracle deck things intuitive okay if you want to get the deck get a shuffle these but yeah your divine masculine is coming in with a lot of honesty here like so much honesty is gonna throw you off guard okay you might get an Instagram DM you might get a phone call okay this person oh a lot of cards popped out here I'll take them but I'll also shuffle out some other ones this person wants you bad this person wants you real bad I don't know if you planned it like that but I feel like some reverse psychology is going on here okay let's get two more cards here two more cards one more card, Spirit. One more card. What does Divine Masculine want to say? What does Divine Masculine want to say, Spirit? One more card, Spirit. One more card. Tell us what we need to know. Not what we want to hear. What does Divine Masculine have to say to Divine Feminine? I'll take you. So. We have, I feel the sexual tension. I don't know what comes next. Will you ever make things right? You didn't see my tears. I don't know what you want. I don't want to know. I'm not financially stable. I don't know why this happened okay so it seems like there's a lot of confusion in the connection right now and I feel like that's the part that's um, really driving them to come in they're coming in not only because they're feeling more confident now but I also feel like they know that you know you're appealing to others people like your personality you know you're a social butterfly you know so I feel like they see that as like a bunch of competition okay this person wants you to themselves but this person feels insecure okay so that's why they feel like they need you all to themselves so um this person could be clingy just a little past issues childhood issues you know past relationships that failed stuff like that you know so things are gonna go slow you know there has to be patience and everything okay but this person wants to come to you okay um Yes, it would have been better to grow together, but this person is someone that um, has to work things out, okay? Um, mother issues, all that other stuff, okay? So your Divine Masculine is working through 
a bunch of things right now, okay? And um, trying to incorporate you into their life. That's how they're trying to work things out right now to themselves. But they want to talk to you, okay? Let's see what was at the bottom of this deck here. Do I still have a chance? That was at the bottom of the deck. Do I still have a chance? Okay, so yeah, this person is coming in. This person wants a second chance, third chance, fourth ch chance, fifth chance, how ma however many chances you gave them. This person wants their last chance, okay? This person wants to prove to you that they do feel the way that they do for you, okay? They just needed some time to grow, but they felt selfish if they told you that they needed time to grow, okay? So your divine masculine thought protecting you from their ego was the best thing, but in relationships, you go through fights, there's ups and downs. Um, if two people are willing to put in the work to save it, then it's savable, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, but make sure you're saving like healthy relationships, not toxic ones, okay? So, okay, yes, I am going to end it there, okay? Celestial guidance, three threes, no ease, okay? If you'd like to make a donation, if you'd like to check out the Amazon wish list, if you'd like to follow more content, description box down below, okay? And I post a lot on Instagram, so you'll see a lot of content consistently there. Okay, so have a blessed day, everybody, okay? And enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.